Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Loop Deck CT. So when the original Loop Deck launched, it was designed to combat the limitations that a keyboard on a computer offers. Now, the reality is a keyboard is designed just for that. You know, it's for keys, it's for input in text. If you look at, you know, the, the basis of a keyboard on a computer, it comes from a typewriter. You know, typewriters, their sole purpose was just for input in text. You know, when you're then using your computer and your mouse for editing photo, video and music, there's limitations to it. It's not ergonomically designed for that purpose, you know. Of course, there are shortcuts you can add and there's workarounds and you can get very familiar with using a keyboard, but ultimately it's designed for input in text. So when it comes to post-production, you want to look at, you know, a piece of hardware that allows you to access, you know, all of those specific features you have within this software. So for instance, if you're using Lightroom or Photoshop or Capture One, you know, having dedicated keys that will allow you to tap into each of those adjustments will of course improve your efficiency. Now, initially there will be a learning phase, you know, getting used to that piece of hardware um, and adapting to use it, you know, outside of what you traditionally have grown to use which is a keyboard so for instance if we look at the loop deck plus you can see on here that there's dedicated keys for everything so you know this is we can go hue saturation luminance all of the colors within that you've got a clarity key shadow highlights these are dedicated keys so rather than having to go into sub menus you just dial one of these and away you go if you don't like it, you just push it in and reset it you know it's so much faster in terms of like you know your workflow and I always say, as a professional creative, whether it's video, photo, or music, once you've honed the skills of what you do as a creative, the only way you can make more money and become better in business is by doing it faster. So having tools and you know having processes in place that allow you to churn out work quicker, obviously ensuring that the quality is still there, that's gonna you know, increase your ability to sort of take on more work, do more projects because you know that you're efficient in terms of the output. So products like this are super, you know, really, really, really impressive. I can't rate this enough. I absolutely love this. One of the things I would say I've struggled with is this is great for in the studio. So as you can see, I'm sat indoors, I'm at my desk, I've got all of my screens around me. This lays on the desk and it's perfect for this environment. So sitting down, really spending time to go through an edit and post-production. Now, my work tends to push me out and about, so I will travel quite a fair bit. And with that traveling means, you know, I have to be, you know, I have to look at restrictions in terms of what I can and can't take with me. So this, you know, am I gonna take that with me? If I had to make a choice of taking this or taking, you know, just my, my MacBook, I'm probably gonna take just my MacBook. And then that means I go back to using the keyboard and its inefficiencies in terms of workflow. So that's where the new Loop Deck CT comes into play. And this is a super exciting product. And I'm really, I'm, I'm over the moon that I've just joined their ambassador program. Um, so there will be a link down below. If you're thinking about purchasing a Loop Deck product, you can get yourself a 10% discount if you follow the link below. And you know, I've been using their products for a while. And where I sit in terms of my work, I work within the music industry, but um, I do photo and I do video. So, you know, I have the ability to edit videos, I have the ability to edit photos. The Loop Deck CT is one of the first products, products that has the ability to be so customized, it can work between editing music, video and photo. So as a creative, you know, you can kind of use this for everything and it will also allow you to just navigate through your computer. So it's kind of an, an all-in-one system, which is phenomenal. The Loop Deck Plus, the, it, not the issue, those dedicated keys are phenomenal because they're all dedicated, but those are fixed dedication keys, so they will never change. You can't recustomize them to do anything else. So when we look at the Loop Deck CT, and this will be the first time you guys are probably seeing one of these, so this is the Loop Deck CT. You can see here in terms of how it's laid out, there are a lot of keys without any, any dedicated words next to them. And that gives you the ability to fully customize this to however you want at whatever stage of your workflow. This dial pad here, there's four of them. And the reason being is we have four fingers. So in terms of using this one handed, each of those fingers will sit on there and they will all reference a different thing. And these, as you can see here, can be totally customized. Now at the moment, it's connected to my Mac. So this little bit in the center, is allowing me to control the mouse, the cursor on the screen. So no longer do I have to use the mouse on my Mac, I can just basically use this, I can use the dial wheel, and I can punch in and punch out different things. 
this configuration changes like it, there will be presets when you when you first get it, but you can customize this to all of the different pieces of software that you would use whether it's ableton you know whether it's photoshop whether it's lightroom whether it's premiere pro you can customize this to fit your workflow and this panel here slides as well so say for instance you look at your workflow and you say okay right i'm going to look at color correction is the first thing i start to do you then do the color correction as you move through your stages of workflow, these can move along with it. So these are no longer fixed options. So whatever is set here for the color workflow, when you move to say, for instance, motion workflow, you can adjust all of these. So you have total customization in a smaller device. So in terms of being able to travel for me, this gives me the ability to now look at taking this with me, which is amazing. So, you know, it's a phenomenal product and it, it just takes the loop deck concept and really refines it, you know. Having those dedicated keys is amazing, but what that means is you then have to have a big device to do it. And there's nothing wrong with that inside the studio, that's perfect. But when you need to be traveling, when you need to be moving, when you need to be mobile, having something like this that's totally customizable, you know, gives you way more options. So what I'm gonna do now is, I've got this switched on and you can see, just like all loop deck, um, products you have this customization screen so I'll zoom in and you guys can see that now and that basically will allow you to customize it depending on what software it's tapping into so we'll go into Lightroom that's probably the the easiest one to show so we'll fire up Lightroom and what you can see here is a minute ago it was showing you a mouse cursor and decimal points whereas now you look at it and all of the configurations have changed and the reason being is this is now spec'd out to be used on Lightroom and that is ever changing depending on the software it's plugged into which is amazing so no longer you're limited to temperature clarity shadows you can adjust all of these to do whatever you want them to do so at the moment to give you an idea we have level structure tool page misspate uh, contrast highlight shadow auto tone we also have quick keys here, but they'll all feature some of it. So control, alt, command. This little dial pad has so many functionalities. So if I allow that to open up. So if we see now, I've fired this up. I've got Lightroom going on. And I can just roll through these images. I select an image that I like. Let's sort of move it a little bit further into the shoot. I'm gonna go this one here. This is a, a, a DJ that I shot recently, a guy called Keith. If I tap on here, it allows me to zoom in, dial in, tap, dial back out again. And of course, all of your adjustments. So as I tap these, and also what you get as well is as you are tapping these, there's response. So you tap here, it gives you a vibration to let you know that it's working. So I hit auto tone, you can see that there. I scroll through, auto tone, auto tone, auto tone is amazing. If I wanted to copy, I could copy, move across to the next one. All of these functionalities are operatable through here, which is, you know, super cool. And if, for instance, if you keep an eye on it, so this is Lightroom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Photoshop and close Lightroom. So I'll close that and hopefully give it a few seconds. I think it's all, let me just close Lightroom properly. If we do that. So that should now be, oh, it's pestering me for a backup call. So we now have closed Lightroom and we are opening, Ta da there we go. All of the settings have changed. So you can see that middle console with the LED lights, that has now changed to work for Lightroom, which is phenomenal, you know? It's giving you the ability to totally customize your workflow to fit how you use it, which is phenomenal. So, you know, this is brand new, like it's absolutely brand spanking new. I've probably had a week with it so far playing, and I'm still sort of getting used to it. And of course, there's a learning curve you've got to go through with any new piece of hardware. So, you know, the original Loop Deck CT, that learning curve, it took you a little, like the original Loop Deck Plus, you know, takes you a little bit of longer to get through that process, but once you do it, it's fine. So I've had this a week now, and I'm getting used to it. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. They're still working on the beta software, um, but 
by the time this video is launched, this product will have gone live. So this will be one of the first videos of people talking about it. And yeah, in terms of, you know, most of these videos on YouTube are, are really pluggy. You know, it's someone saying, oh yeah, you know, Luke Deck changed my life or this piece of hardware changed my life. I can be completely honest. In terms of the work I do, I travel a lot. So there's a lot of times I don't have my Loop Deck Plus with me. So I can't say in every situation, Loop Deck Plus is like the product for me. But what I can say is the CT now gives me the capacity to travel around and make my workflow so much more convenient. So for instance, I shoot a festival, I'm then back at the hotel in the evening editing the images. This is gonna like take up no room in my bag so I can then start editing using this customized setup so I can work through my workflow at the best sort of rate. Um, so yeah, so as I, as I get closer and closer to the products and have more opportunities to use it more, I can see it becoming you know as important to me as my MacBook basically. So they will go hand in hand together. And it's not limiting me. It's, only, it's not saying it only works for one piece of software. I work between a range of pieces of software. So you know, Premiere, Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One, all of those softwares I, I use throughout the course of my workflow. So this can be customized for every single one of those. Now, when you're looking at it from a music production perspective, if you are a music producer and you want a control console, you know, this now becomes an option for you. Like it becomes an option for you, which is amazing. Some of the other things that it has, which I think is really impressive, it has onboard memory. So for instance, if you're doing stuff in Photoshop or you're doing whatever, this has onboard memory. So your scratch disks and things like that, that can be used for putting like data inside to improve the process of editing your images and things like that, which is phenomenal. You know? So it's kind of a storage system, editing platform, it's connected via USB-C, so in terms of like data transmission, it's gonna be as good as it can get. The cable that it comes with is a USB-C to USB-C, but it does come with an adapter to traditional uh, USB 3.0, as you can see on there. It's a really nice cable, like it's, it's gonna wrap up and unwrap many times without falling to pieces, which is great. Um, and yeah, like the other thing it has as well is it's got Bluetooth. Now, the Bluetooth isn't activated just yet, but it does have Bluetooth. So I already imagine later on there will be a software update that will initiate the Bluetooth and that will give you the ability to connect it directly to your computer via Bluetooth and without cables. So for me, in terms of being out and about, using it on site and on location, that Bluetooth aspect is gonna be phenomenal because it means it's one less thing for me to carry, one less cable to consider in terms of like my loadout and loading kit on shoots. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As I, as I mentioned before, you know, if you are looking at a Loop Deck product, please follow the link down below and you'll get yourself a 10% discount. If you have any questions about this, do pitch them my way and I'm happy to answer. And I'm really looking forward to see what the photo, video and music industry start to say about this product because there is nothing else out there that has the ability to work between all of those different genres at the moment. This is the first product to do that. So it's pretty revolutionary, not just for photographers and videographers, but also music producers as well. Um, and if you are somebody that uses all three of those verticals, you now have a piece of hardware that you can use in any of those situations that you can totally customize to your workflow. Until next time guys, it's been amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you all soon. Take care, bye bye.